Hey, Scorpio. I missed ya. Let's get you a tarot reading from now over the next few days. See what's coming in for you. So I did pick up some love energy, but it was kind of like someone is real demanding, okay? Or they're about to be. It's almost like I, I demand that you love me, Scorpio, or something like this. All right, let's see. I decided to bring these cards out of hiatus, see what's going on. All right, over the next several days, what is a matter of importance? Maybe one or two. Seduction, yeah, all right, fine. Well, fine, whatever you say. All right, so your main card here is going to be seduction, okay? There's a matter of seduction happening in the next few days. I feel like somebody is trying to seduce you. Like I said, there's a certain amount of demand going on here. I literally get the word demand. So someone is making demands of you or it's almost like they're expecting things of you, which I don't understand yet. We'll see if it comes up in the read. Um, but this does say manipulation. So this says seduction, allure, desire, and manipulation. It's almost like someone wants you so bad, but you're not playing by the rules, right? Or somehow you're out of reach. You're out of touch with this person they feel like you're not necessarily around. It's something like that, right? So now let me tell you this. Um, I'm getting specifically with the matter um, on the bottom of the deck here, which I'm going to show you right meow, actually. I'm going to show you it right meow, all right? This says compassion, empathy, sympathy, and uh, kindness, right? So this is about someone really wanting your kind side. They want your sympathy. They want your compassion. They want your your loving nature here. That's that's kind of what they have their heart set out on, okay? This could also be manifested as someone who is using um, tactics, I would say, to try and influence you to care for them. It's like, Please love me. Uh, please care about me. I'm going through such a rough time. You know, it could be something like that. In other news, wow, you have beautiful. Wow. And then bat, of course. Shut up, bat. I don't even want that. All right, so bottom of the deck. I'm going to tell you this because this is this feels separate here. Um, it says control your anger. I, we did pick up on some anger in the last reading here, so... Yeah, control your anger here because I, I feel like this has to do with this bat energy. I'm going to throw this out here too. You got the dolphin card. It says financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. Lucky you because you also have great happiness this week. I feel like you're going to be really proud of your accomplishments that are coming in. However, this is where I feel like you may be needing to play it smart and play it cool here, okay? Because it says enemies are working against you. It could be about your finances, all right? So... Just be aware that you have someone most likely not wanting the best for you when you are getting the best is what it looks like. So I feel like you're, I'm seeing specifically a three of cups for you. Okay, this is good, actually. Looks like you're focused on finances, Scorpio. It feels like to me that whoever this is with the love and um, care for me, love me, why don't you love me? It's a very distant energy from what I'm picking up on right now, okay? Because it feels like you're focused on finances. And I also feel like whatever you put into works a while back, it could even be like something you've forgotten, you've long forgotten, or something you've been waiting to pay off. It is paying off, and you're going to be really happy. You're reaping some sort of reward in the next few days here. Um, I'm actually hearing two weeks. All right. All right, so control your anger or you'll be sorry, it says. <laughs> Let's see what's coming in for you, Scorpio. Death card, there you are. You are the center of attention in your world. It's seeming like, all right, at least in this time period, you are. Pay attention to yourself, pay attention to your needs, and I feel like you're going to be really proud of yourself. Yeah, like I said, there's some sort of payout here. It's coming in. Some sort of work that you uh, did, you put out, it's coming back around. You're going to be graced with some sort of, I heard, influence? Okay, so your influence is rapidly growing here, but I feel like 
You may have been frustrated in the past that there, something was not paying off, but it is now. You're reaping some sort of old, older type of reward here. Yeah, your influence. I'm telling you, okay, there's something about you becoming very attractive, very, you're, you're real fiery, first of all, but you are in your element as well with the water. But it feels like you're investing in yourself and people are also investing in you. I feel like people are paying attention to you. There could be um, a particular person that is interested in you. It could be a water or fire sign. Specifically, I am getting, it doesn't have to be, but I'm getting cancer or Aries type energy. So there could be someone here who's looking to connect with you further because you've really caught somebody's eye from what I'm seeing. And this is you being in hermit mode. Yeah, I, I mean, go figure. So there's some sort of sage or wisdom that someone is seeking. It looks like to try and connect with you. Okay. That's, that feels a separate energy. That's like a Sagittarius Virgo here. Could be trying to connect with you here, but you've ghosted. You have the Ace of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, um, get ready because I feel like there's so many offers that people are trying to offer. <laughs> Go figure. What else do you do with offers, right? Oh, well, I guess you reject them. But people are offering to connect with you. They have certain offers. This does feel very business, very kind of like a promotional type energy. Someone wants to promote you as a person is what it feels like because your image, something about you being a uh, charismatic, having some sort of charisma, or somehow you're the face of something that's kind of important this week. And people are trying to promote that about you. I also feel like you may have uh, multiple offers coming in. I just focused that you may have multiple offers coming in this week, like so many offers that you might find yourself feeling a bit surprised by this. But it's all good. It's all happy type of energy. Like I feel like you're happy about this. I feel like this is Okay, you know what I'm getting right now? <laughs> so keep in mind that there may be someone who is offering you something financial, but it's kind of masked because it's more of an emotional thing or it's almost like to get closer to you emotionally. And I will tell you this, this person believes that there are so many opportunities for you out there. I feel like they've been seeing this or they somehow know this, that there's multiple people trying to offer you things or trying to get your attention in some regard, like offering you positions or, you know, whatever this is. <clears throat> and I feel like because they're seeing this happen, it's making them want to up the ante here. I'm not sure that they are just yet, but they're completely focused on you, right? I do see that. So there's a lot of eyes on you this week. I'm literally getting evil eye as well. Okay, evil eye. Actually, let's look into this bat energy. You want to? Let's go ahead and look into this bat because it says, remember this, it says um, enemies are working against you because it looks like you're getting some sort of financial payout. Like I said, you're gonna be super happy, but I wanna know what this is. It doesn't feel like much is gonna happen with this. I do feel like you have a fiery temper as it relates to anybody touching your business, your stuff, or anything that belongs to you. That's why it said, don't get too angry. Like be smart, right? Be smart. I feel like this has to do with this bat. And then we'll look into that person who's over here trying to figure out, you know, how can I get Scorpio to love me? Tell me about this bat. The five of pentacles. What's that? Okay, so enemies are working against you. This has to do with someone you're on the outs with, it looks like, or someone at a distance. Okay, Ten of Wands, the Two of Pentacles. They don't want your work to pay off. I feel like this is someone who finds themselves in a really bad position. Like, let's say that you've shunned this person and they're trying to, you know, get back into good graces with you or get connected with you. 
they're hoping that you have like a hit rock bottom moment because it somehow resonates more with their energy. Because this is someone who's coming from the five of pentacles. It's lack, okay? So this person is resonating with lack, with not having anything, not having enough, feeling desolate, right? And they could be wanting the same for you, but that's because it would make it easier for them to connect with you if you were more on that level right now. But we've already seen that you're not. So this is someone, like I said, this could be someone that you're not talking to, but this could also just be people in general who don't want the best for you. Um, yeah, maybe like jealous type of energy, jealous. No, this feels like someone you were connected to here. This looks like to me someone was put out of a house. Yeah, this feels like someone, look, look, there's a house here. Someone is about to be put out of a house or they did get put out of a house and they're, they're mad that you're doing well. That's all that is. We don't need to look at this anymore. Screw this, I'm tired of it. All right, let's look into the seduction compassion energy with these oracles for you, Scorpio. Okay, Knight of Swords. All right, cool. Very nice. Oh, Scorpio, look at this. I'm telling you. Scorpio, love me. Um, all right, this could be, well, I'm seeing Gemini here. Could be a younger fire sign or a Scorpio as well, like yourself. So here's the thing. There is someone who is wanting to flirt with you, wanting to express emotions with you, wanting to communicate with you. However, you guys may not be that close in touch right now from what I'm seeing. It looks like there's some sort of division or divide that's happened here between you and this person, and they're trying to affect some sort of change. Like I said, this is not beyond someone using manipulative tactics. Um, actually, Scorpio is pretty good at this here, so maybe you're doing it too, Scorpio. Maybe you're doing it too. Let me see. Mm hmm lovers. More Gemini energy. Okay, wow. Someone has like I heard artificial plans. Okay, I don't know what that is. What is artificial plans? Oh, that you don't trust these plans. Okay, so someone here, you don't trust their plans, Scorpio, but they're trying to invest into some sort of uh, closer connection with you. I do feel like they have a lot of passion or some sort of fire burning in their loin, and that's exactly what they're trying to connect with you with. So this is a very passionate type of exchange here from what I'm seeing. However, uh, there is some sort of relationship on the line here with this person. It's almost like they would be super happy were you to connect with them in a deeper sense or like in a more committed sense here? Because they're trying to affect a change toward commitment with you. And we did see that with the um, higher thought energy that was behind that Knight of Swords before I shuffled. So, right. You could have a lot of people showing up this week. I just realized, like, how, how are we... All right, I'm seeing three people that were that we mainly picked up on here. Okay, Scorpio. Some of you, it's four. All right, let's get you one of these. Look at you, I told you. It's like you're attracting people. There's some sort of light that you're, like is coming off of you, it's emanating or you're emitting some sort of light here. The presence of the divine feminine. At the center of everything, there is light, and I am that light. Yeah, you're the center of everything this week. For whatever reason, I did pick that up that, you know, there's a lot of people watching you. You're in people's hearts. You're on people's minds, people's 
eyes are on you, you're being watched and you're being thought of highly as well. So I feel like something about you like gaining, um, yeah, your presence. Your presence is somehow brighter than usual this week. So just keep in mind, there's a lot of people around. There's a lot of people who are, for the most part, not necessarily bad energies. The, the negative energy that we picked up on is at a distance. So we don't even need to worry about that. Just, you know, keep on doing your thing, be in your own energy. And it looks like you're shining. I'm surprised we're not seeing the star card, to be honest, but you do have the sun. Something about your exposure here, okay? Um, in a good way, not, not bad. I didn't see anything really bad here happening. A lot of improvements financially, especially, or in your professional life. Okay, so what is this? Oh yeah, I can't, I'm sorry, I was like, where do I read this? I was trying to look through the camera. Um, derp, okay, the saint of true freedom. Love is what sets me free. I am married to my own soul. Interesting, because there is a love opportunity showing up for you this week. I feel like there's at least two. I did see at least two for a lot of you, especially if you're involved with multiple people, like in the public. I'm not saying like, you, you know, you're dating all these people. Maybe you are, whatever, whatever floats your boat. But it does feel like people are wanting to connect with you in a more romantic sense. Um, multiple people, are attracted to you. Like I said, you're shining right here. But this is about choosing yourself at the end of the day. Um, I feel like you're kind of doing that, especially with this high priestess energy. It's kind of like, let me just stay where I am. It does feel like someone may be approaching you to ask you if you want to like date them. Some of you, this is go study with them. All right. And I feel like you're just going to kind of be real patient with this offer or it's almost like you're, you're comfortable in your energy right now. And it does look like it's going to be kind of slower paced, but at least a lot of fun as well. This is, I feel like this week you're choosing yourself. Good for you, Scorpio. I love you. I hope this reading um, made sense. I don't usually do such a freestyle like this. So I know might be several things going on at once, but hey, such is life, is it not? I love you guys so very much. Feel free to check the playlist for your other readings and um, subscribe or hit the bell if you want, if you want to see when they come out and check your friends' placements, your family's placements. Um, I heard Papa John's placements. All right. Your neighbors, friends, phone members, coworkers, people and Tom, people on down the street, check their placements too. So we know what they're up to. Kisses. Love you. Bye. Are you eating pizza? Bye. <laughs>